Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Monday, December 13th, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time 2021. Boom! 7.6 magnitude earthquake. Rocks Indonesia downgraded to 7.3. No tsunami risk. Good news. But the big story, 74 dead, more than 100 still unaccounted for in Kentucky tornado disaster. <sighs> Keep calm. It's boom time. Now, good news before we get to the bad news. This uh, candle factory that we had up yesterday on the update, uh, it was assumed that almost everyone in this factory died. 106 people were working there. Everyone, almost everyone, over 90% of the people escaped. And that news came uh, hours later after officials thought that they were going to have a huge, well, recovery effort here at the candle factory. 90 plus people escaped out of 100. And that is amazing. Now let's get to the... The brass tacks, the death toll. Rescuers continue to search for survivors Monday. And it is, well, a sad sight. And we are not going to show you any video tonight. After tornadoes tore through Kentucky and neighboring states over the weekend, devastating entire towns. Yeah. And killing dozens of people. And there we are. Hello. Good to see you guys. Let me see. Let me, let me parse this up. Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear said in an update Monday afternoon that 74 people in the state had been confirmed dead, and that over 100 others were accounted for, unaccounted for, uh, with both numbers expected to grow tomorrow. So Bashir said Monday morning that it would take a week or even more before we have a final count on the number of lost lives, saying the mountain of waste included perished livestock. So that's, well, quite telling. And good news here on the Candle Factory. Like we reported, uh, almost everyone escaped from here, which is a miracle. Now, what is a, an, another miracle? Shut up, Al! Get in your hole! Is the amount of snow that is about to fall in the West, which is the best. I think we've got this little... This is not working for us. So what we're going to do is just take a pause. Oh, holy macaroni. Would you look at these snow totals? The West is the best, and the West is about to get crushed. And we're going to be covering that in a well now. Let's take a look. Let's move it through all the way back till now. And we're going to parse this through in the next three hours, hours of powers, up to 12 inches of snow are going to fall across all of those white regions. Uh, and that means big totals. For the ski resorts. And look at this. In just six hours from now. We're looking at 18 to 20. Uh, boom! It explodes. By Tuesday night. Just 24 hours from now. Over four feet of snow in many regions. In the mid-Sierras here. Take a look at that. These snow totals are epic. And that, and that doesn't include the rain. Uh that is not being picked up here at snow on these models. This storm is going to move east Wednesday, Thursday, and there, there is the totals. We're talking a foot of snow and thousands of square miles in the high country, and, well, game on. If you're a skier, this could be one of the most epic ski seasons ever. And why do I say that? Because there's more systems moving in through the model. Look at, the, look at this. The West Coast could be tilted with 10 feet of snow from the Cascades all the way down to Mexico. Ho, ho. Shut up, Al! He wants to dress as Santa and walk around the streets of Pagosa. Isn't that sad? So, and take a look at the Northeast like a beast. Uh, there's a storm predicted for December 21st and 2nd. Well, that could potentially bury the Northeast well and give a white Christmas to many. And the West is going to be tilting. Look at these model totals here. This could be some of the deepest snow ever recorded in decades. And this is the only place recording records. But first, let's go over the forecast from weather.gov. Heavy rain, mountain snow, and high winds impacting the western and central U.S. 
A strong storm will continue to impact the West Tuesday, which is your lose day, before moving from the southern Rockies across the plains into the upper Midwest on Wednesday. Storm totals of snowfall is expected to top out at several feet across the mountains of the Great Basin. Excessive rainfall in Southern California will lead to flash flooding and debris flows. High winds will spread from the southwest into the Great Lakes, and we are looking at a catastrophe or just some extreme weather that people are going to lather up in. Now, the total snow mass for the Northern Hemisphere, as it has been since the channel was incepted, for, that's now going on six years, is now re, is well above average the entire data set. So we're above the multi-decadal averages, well above all averages. In a global warming world, we have more snow in the Northern Hemisphere than has ever been seen in anyone's lifetime. Isn't that hilarious? Now let's add on to this. Insane temperature contrast in Russia today. Hello, Russia! I'm trying to... Where, do I, where can I sit? All right, let me sit here. Insane temperature contrast in Russia today. One of the largest... Now this is not today. This is back on December 8th. Five days ago, but it's it's noteworthy. One of the largest temperature contrasts ever recorded for a single country. A staggering difference of 153 in Fahrenheit or 85 degrees C. And plus the temperature. Look at the temperature. Negative 61 C. That's 140. What is that? I don't even know what that is. That's a lot. Ugh, that's freezing cold. It's like 100 degrees below freezing. That's how freezing it is. Now, and also we've got deep snow totals for the West. Here's some of the forecasts. Take a look at China Peak, like the China virus. 70 inches, and they're not even lying there. That's the actual forecast. Bear Valley, 68. Badger Pass, 65. In the next five days, you will be buried if you're shorter than 5'3". All the way through Mammoth Mountain, Kirkwood, Sierra at Tahoe, Dodge Ridge. We've already got, boom, there it is, 7.3. Downgrade service at the USGS from 7.6. No tsunami warning, thankfully. Look at the depth, 47 miles. Could you imagine if this was at the surface? Oh, crap -roly. Let me refresh this to make sure there's no tsunami warning. Because you know how uh, well the money funders, the MFers, you know how well they do it. All right, we're still spinning. Oh, here's the update. Whew, no tsunami warning. Okay, and still at 7.6 in the tsunami warning center, but downgraded on the main map to 7.3. This is good news because we have been in a deficit for large quakes. And this one in particular happened in the middle of... Well, nowhere. Now, there are millions of people in Indonesia, but this one happened well offshore here. And there are definitely people that live on this island, <laughs> wherever that is, and I'm sure they shart their pants. Like, a sh like, a like It was like, wow! What in the world? And then they ran outside to look at the ocean and to kiss their woohoo goodbye. Shut up, Al! He hates it when I talk like that. He's a nice guy. Al's a nice guy. No, he's not. All right. Seismic update. We just did it. Al Wu Volcano. Now we're at the volcanism in the islands of Indonesia. Another place increasing seismic activity since October. Is this related, for goodness sakes? I have no idea what the, where this is. But you can see here. Oh, my goodness. I hope this is not related to that island. Let me... Can we get the geography here? Hold on. Let me go grab that. Boom! Good news, folks. Awu is in the north here. So the big earthquake happened down here on the Indonesian uh, archipelago. And Awu is way up here near the Philippines. The bad news about Awu <laughs> and the alert level raising is that Awu goes boom big. And it goes boom big, meaning VEI-4 back in 1966 during the Ice Age scare at the beginning of it. VEI-3 back in 1892 during 
Do I hear it? Yes, the Centennial Minimum and VEI4 back in the Dalton Minimum, 1812. So this is a Grand Solar Minimum Volcano guaranteed to boom at VEI3 or 4 in the near future. Awu! South of the Philippines, and we'll keep a close eye on that. Let's see if any seismicity is coming there. And we'll show you the location on the map of Awu. Oh, my goodness. Los Filipinos. So Awu would be right down here on this little island. So we're going to keep a close eye on this region for Awu moving forward. Now, where were we? We were at Awu which may go boom and probably will go boom based on historical documentation. All links will be below. Grimm's Vault Volcano. We've been keeping a close eye on the jockey lip warning. Now, there is a new glacial flood peak expected in the next 5 to 10 days. This is coming out today by Kristin Jonsanta from the Icelandic Met Office. Notified her Twitter account that the Ooh, it's a lady. That the ice sheet has continued to drop and reached about 60 centimeters in total subsidence. Now, this is after... About 50 meters already dropped off in the last week or so. Now, the glacial flood or jockey lip from Grimsvoten has likely started. Revealed an estimated glacial flood peak in the next 5 to 10. That's a re repeat. So it's going to come out here at the south of the uh, island in one of these conduits, and we're waiting for it. Now, if the main jockey lip hasn't happened and the seismicity hasn't increased, we've been monitoring it quite well. Um, we should see an uptick in seismicity in the next several days while the peak jockey lip occurs if Grimm's Fulton may erupt. Isn't this awesome? La Palma update. Spanish island volcano eruption hits record at 85 days. Now, our last La Palma update made this quite clear uh, about the historic eruptive nature of La Palma and the eruptions as far as fissure eruptions like the one that's currently occurring. Now, they just eclipsed the longest eruption. That goes back to about 1500 AD. And there is no recorded eruption longer than this for thousands of years. Maybe 1500 years ago, but there's limited data and geologic evidence upon that. But the Spanish island volcanic eruption hits a record, and that's not all. The Spanish Spain orders 33,000 to seal themselves indoors over toxic gases from a paroxysm that occurred yesterday, and we reported on this. What are they saying here? The gases from a volcano sent an explosion of smoke and ash into the air. According to the Associated Press, the Cumbre Vieja volcano came to life on Sunday after reports of low-level activity for 85 days since September 19th. The regional government of Spain's Canary Islands ordered residents to lock down in three municipalities after high levels of sulfur dioxide in the air were recorded. Wow. I felt a little gay after that. Moving on, uh, the paroxysm that they are reporting on here that caused everyone to lock down was what we uh, predicted about 36 hours ago during the last podcast. We said that based on telemetry and three-dimensional modeling of seismicity, that the uh, eruptive nature of this volcano is going to burp out a couple of big booms and just be done with in a matter of days or or. Maybe weeks. I mean, we're, we're talking very low le level activity in the final days of this volcano. There's going to be a lot of heat, and the lava that has been in place will be hot for years. We're talking years. It's going to be a tourist attraction where you can come and touch the hot lava or cook hot dogs on it, or you can cut a hole in it. It literally takes years for the lava to cool in this type of eruption, which is fantastic for tourism. Uh, terrible for me because I have to turn the the reason I, it's I'm having difficulty is because well anyway moving along La Palma volcano eruption update it intensifies intermittently and it did do that again a second paroxysm as predicted blasted to fifteen thousand feet earlier today and the nature of the seismicity has also increased slightly where we're now seeing because that upper magma chamber is now squishing out the last remnants no we don't want to have anything to do with that um we, we give so much money to volcano discovery it's insane you should also don donate if you uh watch it regularly 
or use the resources here. Now, during the past 24 hours, La Palma was shaken by just, uh, let's say, 40 quakes below magnitude 2, 55 quakes between 2 and 3. So it's about 100 quakes per day, and we can come look at some of the three-dimensional graphics here. And you can see yellow is new. That's M1 and M2. These are microquakes that they just added to the mix. So you can see the micro seismicity there because they're literally milking <laughs> this for all they can. Every YouTube channel, every live stream is milking this. Now here is that outbreak in the last 36 hours of tremor that has gone off the Chizarts up and down. Look how low it's gone and high it's gone. It's gone high and the lowest it's been the entire eruption and that would be indicative of the volcano shutting down. And if you come over here to Volcano Discovery, I believe, or Volcano YouTube, YT, uh, big fan of the channel and we're a big fan of Volcano YT. We helped them blow up a couple years ago and I think we've probably given them 30,000 plus subs out of their 110 and we love them there and they literally live stream all the vantage points of the volcano and you can see even the lava is cooling down the lava flows uh the volcano has no more paroxysms it's it's basically dead folks as we said and that's a nanu nanu now we have some interesting updates in science for you tonight parade of planets crescent moon five planets two asteroids all aligned on the 12th ceres which could be nibiru or planet nine or whatever you want to call it uranus or uranus however you want to say it just bend down and look deep we have neptune palace another uh option for planet nine jupiter saturn and venus all in a row. Now, can you imagine the ancients when this happened in times prior? How amazing this sight in the night sky must have been. It could have been life-changing. And with the half moon boom, well, hello. And guys, if you want to change your life, if you need a little respite, if you're getting a little cockamamie up in the noggin, Go outside, breathe deeply, and look up, and realize how small you are and insignificant at the same time. Now, some of the funniest shit I've seen coming out from the mainstream in a while. Scientists studying microplastics in Antarctica to determine why global warming and the modern environment is destroying our Earth discovered that 89% of the samples analyzed of the microplastics came from the paint from their own fucking ship. Boom! Bunch of retards. That basically is the green movement there. The microplastics that they're sampling, almost 90% were from their own fucking ship. Now, real science happening here. Collapse of the mammoth step in central Yukon as revealed by ancient environmental DNA. This is an amazing paper with multidisciplinary uh, scientists coming together to reveal some of the most impressive work as, as far as taxonomy and climate. And what I mean by that is very few people put the pieces together as far as, can we open this image? Yeah, we can do it. This, this is amazing. Now, this image is showing you mass extinctions through time. And the plus and minus, as far as dating, is located at the bottom. So modern time is to the right here. And it actually, the graph cuts off around 4,000 years ago. But you can see here a drop down in speciation 6,000 years ago during the flood of Noah. You can also see a major drop down in speciation, meaning a mass extinction, around uh, 13,300 years ago, the beginning, the onset of the Younger Dryas. Another explosion in species around 12,900 years ago when it warmed up. And then another mass extinction 
at around 10,100. So this type of proxy data is amazing when we're discussing cosmic catastrophe. Now, the mainstream doesn't want to discuss what is shown on this graph, but I will leave you links below so that you can slather in the information from your own situation. Now look at all these arrows down here. They're like saying, everyone's dying at this place. Yeah, and in fact, there is a Grim Reaper right at this flexor point. And if we come down below, that is 10,000 exactly years ago. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Did you know happy birds fly higher? Check out Happy Bird Seeds. Happybirdseeds.com. Become a member Become part of their mailing list. They offer 30%, 50% off regularly. And they have some of the most amazing genetics on the planet, especially in the United States. Because happy birds fly higher organically, open source, open pollinated. You want to grow the best medicine? Check out happybirdseed.com. That's a boom. It's a knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance in a dystopian world where the mainstream media is silent on some of the most important topics. And when they do talk, they twist it right in your face. It's a disgrace. Shut up, Al. Get in your hole. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And be safe. Become a Patreon. Share this video and become a hero. And comment below for the algorithm. And that's a boom. Mm.